Good afternoon, everybody. This is Eric the Shadow of Darcy. Taking a break from studying. Um, this is a repeat video. I tried it in the past and camera stopped recording like five minutes in. Um, but so this is my FMS Kingfisher. Um, there's my Tyrannus QX7 with the new multicam decal on it. I got my FR Sky gyro receiver in here now. Of course, you still gotta tape that antenna. Um, but uh, I thought I could put the wings on and show you guys that I got the gyro set up and just offer a few things. So, why don't we start at the back of the plane here? So, um, The hook for the wheel goes up through a hole into here, through the horizontal, up to here, and this bottom screw is what it hooks on. So, and so I don't have to unscrew this wheel every time I take this off, I just leave it on. That's probably a good idea for any of you just to do that. Um, this does not line up real good right here, so I would, right here doesn't line up real good without finessing it a little bit so it's probably better just to leave it on you don't want to worry about breaking the hooks or the clasp um, so there's a talon there's my FAA number right there so um, as far as other things go this is the carbon bar um, pretty big bird with the wings on so what I recommend doing is when you go home making sure your Y harnesses for the aileron flaps are left out like this You'll, it'll save you some time at the field um, I also recommend probably can't see it but I yellow paint markered the flap plug so I took the wings to the right spot. So, um, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy together. And then I'll show you everything working. So the best thing to do is, because these wings are really heavy, to just get them both on like this. So the plane is balanced. And then plug your stuff in. So flaps. Make sure you go color to color on your wires so you don't have any problems. See they're marked on the wing but on the white harness they're not. So, um, a little word of advice too when running the wing in. Um, make sure it's supposed to, the video FMS has, shows this being super easy to get in, okay? On the clasp, it's not. If you avoid, you know, damaging the foam on the wing, or your plastic wing right here. So feed your servo wires in, and then kind of need to grab it from that end and push and the FMS on their video says it clicks it doesn't really click you guys okay Just keep that in mind if you buy this bird so that wing's in so flap to flap here get it on the aileron and you may or may not hear my daughter Sarah Princess through that ground wells this afternoon, so there's only one twin to do with today. Oh. There you are. Hey Sarah. Looks like you play your Kindle. Then play it, but I'm making a Actually, movie. I... I'm making an RC movie, so can you go somewhere else, please? Yeah. Hey, I can see the picture up here. Yep, just 
Go play, okay? Why is that on? I am filming for my RC channel, Sarah. So, get these in here. Sorry guys, I you know how it is when you're on the camera. It goes together easy off the camera, but when you're gonna put it together on the camera, it has to fight you. Uh, so, so, like I said, you want to just push from the end, kind of work back and forth, help move it in. Okay. We have these that go on that side, and they are directional, so you can't just um, flip them. The other thing I recommend, or use them on either side, is when you have the plane broke down, leave one clip on the swing support, and then the two that click it to the wing leave them on the wing and then you don't have to worry about losing your alligator clips um, just a bit of advice having RC cars and stuff little alligator clips are not hard to lose so just keep that in mind so um, would I recommend this bird to someone new is that what FMS touts this plane as? Probably not. Unless they have a mentor to help them with it. Um, it's not easy to put the wings on as it show. Um, what else? It's uh, getting the horizontal stabilizer on it is not easy because it doesn't just slide in like they say it does um, for character flight characteristics yeah I would recommend but as far as getting her built and set up I would just because the little snafus involved or the little nuggets that someone new would not know I mean if they had somebody to give them a little bit of input it might be an okay beginner plan She's big too. Here in a second, I'll put her in front of me to show you guys how big she is. This is not a uh, plane you probably want to leave the wings on when you're in your car. So, here I am next to it. She's pretty big. Wingspan is almost as big as my arm spread. So, um, the propeller goes on pretty easy. Um, Got one part. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, sorry about that, guys. So um, the part that ties this all on is a brass threaded insert. So, um, the propeller, the way this lines up, you're not going to get it wrong. So, you won't have to worry about that as much. So, um, I already have a throttle kill set, so... We don't have to worry about that. I will tell you, even though this is a 3S bird, she still has enough power to cut you. I have scars from her when I forgot to turn the throttle cut on. So, let's get my Terran SQX7 on here. Dave at Dave's RC, if you watch this video, if you want to get more into FR Sky, I recommend. 
the new QX7. I know you have the older, I think it's a QX9, I can't remember. Grab a hold on. So I have my throttle hold on guys. See how the throttle is not working? So this is a QX. I should have initialized hold on the level, being how they're going to pull up. So I have just turn the gyro off and then if you I gotta do a little bit more programming here, but uh, you can see I got the gyro going. So um, there it is, you guys. Um, turn the throttle off, hold off, just to let you guys hear. Now that battery's all out of storage charge, so yeah, I get that. But, um, so there's the Kingfisher guys, hopefully here soon I will get her up and going. Um, I've got a new camera coming, Roy at Reckham Roy's RC recommended, that uh, will allow me to film this stuff on my own. That's a problem I've had is getting someone available to help me. So, um, we will uh, be getting that in the next couple weeks. Um, so thanks for recommending that, Roy. Other than that, I hope everybody's having a great week. Um, we've got two exams this week, so and a lot of studying going on for our IT degree.